Oh wow, look, I went to a better spot to try and get the whole rainbow in. And look at what I found behind these mounds. Hey, eh? some irises. Beautiful. Okay, we are definitely well on our way to a complete double rainbow. Now, how lucky is that? Unless you consider why it is the way it is. Okay, here we go. See? Okay, well. And there's where the double one's trying to form. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, there's the main one. I'm assuming this is going to show up. And then there's the double. When in fact this whole thing is actually probably a split prism. But you can't see it. There, and there's where it started. Ah, tricky little leprechauns. Oh, great deal. Well, we're not going to be able to get the whole thing in in one shot by the looks of it, but that's okay. Right in the rainbows. And there's the other end. Yeah, I guess the I guess the leprechaun heard me ske scheming and scamming there. He's put the other end of the rainbow behind the mountains, and uh, and this end, well, he just ends in the clouds. Ain't that bright? Oh, look at that baby. <sighs> Shooting rainbows. Okay, let's check out these irises. See, you know, I was bitching about a uh, disappointingly low turnout on the flowers. Well, imagine these little crooks growing here wild, eh? So what, he must have dumped their old flower bed dirt here or something that had iris bulbs in them. And obviously they spread, so... Who knows how many years they've been sitting here dormant. See, we're behind. They were, I, they were using this as a gravel pit at one time. Uh, back in the early 90s, I'm guessing. See where they dug out of the hill, because it's really fine, uh, clean gravel. And, uh, and this would be the, see that goes down, there's irises. And then, before the road, this would be the overburden, the stuff that wasn't, uh, Worth using for whatever. Okay. And then the road. <clears throat> but I do know what's in here because I've seeded this whole hill to try and stabilize it. Uh, yes, that's right. I used <laughs> I used bags of bird seed. <laughs> And yes, they all <laughs> contain hemp seeds. No, I don't think any of the hemp seeds are going to sprout here. In fact, I'm sure most of the seed was eaten. But I figured, hey, what the fuck. I was, I was making like, I don't know, 20, 
21 to 50 in an hour at the time, so, you know, one hour per bag plus the, an hour to spread it, I, I thought that was worth the risk. Uh, lots of the seeds were millets, that's actually what I was um, suspecting might, might actually bear some seed. So I could help re-establish the, uh, <clears throat> the mat layer on top of the sand and that would capture the, the natural stuff that does like to grow here, and that does belong here. Oh, that cute little spider, eh? Sorry guys, I won't be long. I didn't bring them in here because there's these little puncture vines all over. Oh, miserable, miserable, miserable little things. See that little spider? No, I don't. But maybe, maybe we will when he's put on the big screen. There he is. And too close to focus. <sighs> wow. This is such a fucking dry spot. I'm 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 just amazed that these Everses are here I think. <laughs> uh, obviously somebody Somebody dumped their garden dirt, and they do that frequently here. Well, occasionally, three, four times a year, somebody will dump their garbage dirt. Wow, what a bonus! <clears throat> See if I had that. That video editing uh, person that was going to complete me a little more and we complete them obviously. Uh, we could, we could, well I couldn't, but I wouldn't stop somebody from taking my work and turning that nice rainbow, double rainbow, well, 1.2 rainbow, into a cute little ballad and we could put. We could put, with a little trick editing, we could put these irises at the end of the rainbow, you know? Okay, it wasn't gold, but, but it was something I could spin freely in my imagination. You get the picture. I actually had... <laughs> A nice cute little comment. I think she was just Sylvia was just teasing me back. And she actually used that cute line on me. You, you complete me. <laughs> I've never had anybody joke to the, like that to me. The young lady. It actually prompted me after several communications to actually um, ask her, "Well, are you actually the are you actually the the person that's represented in your avatar?" Because few people are. I, I I like her her effort. The young lady, twenty eight. Um, trying to remember her. survival with bushcraft. Yeah, that's the name of her her main page. Uh, she's got a another small page. She started up with her own uploads, I think, which seems to go under the same name. But she's the one I'm always um, joking when I see her on other people's pages doing her work. I nicknamed her. I tagged her the um, sexy latex girl, or was it? Sexy latex supergirl? Well, I don't know. I'm sure a few people that bothered to notice some of the things I do out of boredom or whatever interest. But, uh, 
I'm sure they, if they think about it, they probably, what the fuck is this guy talking about and notice my serial comments? I very much like that. I don't have short term memory. Uh, so I've had to, uh, due to damage and, um, well, over the years I've learned to adopt my um, medium and rearrange what you guys use as an emotional memory and uh, interlace it with my long term. Um, so I can literally come back on a conversation that <clears throat> an hour later or like six months later as if, as if, you know, we were having tea and the doorbell <laughs> rang. I don't have a doorbell here. And uh, to me, it was just normal. <laughs> I didn't realize I was, I was doing that until, well, some of my colleagues at Oliver Car and Truck kind of, <laughs> I kept, why are they giving me these strange looks? <laughs> they never openly discussed it, but Tom noticed because he's, he's sharp like that. And I could just tell from his expressions that it led me to realize. Oh fuck! We weren't just talking about this two minutes ago. I just, I just stepped right back into a conversation we didn't complete from six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> they tried very hard to harness my potential. They were very accommodating. I mean, as far as they could, you're dealing with um, the effigy of fucking scam tech. Crop tech scam. Uh, indemption servitude machines, you know. Them nice quiet riding automobiles you guys all have been trained to covet. Had a very small used car dealership. Well, not small, big for, for rural areas. Like, like it was up to like 125 vehicles at one time. But point being, we we weren't like you know a small service station like you know 12 mechanics and. And the volume to justify the equipment and the continual upgrades that are necessary. So it was, it was very, very, very taxing. They were very accommodating as far as my anal retentiveness on telling the truth is, you know, telling it like it is, rather than the industrial standard of only tell you what you need to know to convince you to buy this. I'd been around a lot of car lots. That was the first one where I seen somebody reaching out like that. Big city car lots. Where no problem there's plenty more customers where that came from. But not 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 at all over a current truck. I was impressed. Uh, I actually managed to get three years there. Very painful, frustrating years as far as the actual trade goes, but I haven't been able to stand my automotive career for a long fucking time. And because that's all it's about, it's indemption servitude. Completely lost focus on actually fucking getting your ass from A to B dependably, safely, and efficiently. Revolves around parasitical marketeers infesting the uh, engineering meetings. Uh -oh. <clears throat> I'll just rehash on my often used expression to sum it all up. People that designed this stuff, you're sentenced to an eternity in hell repairing it! <laughs> <laughs> Mechanics joke. Most of you people won't get that. <clears throat> Especially you that aren't atheists. 